Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the best team of the week drop of the entire year because we got Trevon Dix. Now I don't want to give a shout out to Connor Nor for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. Now also guys, we do have LTD Brady. We also have LTD Cameron Hayward in packs. We have Delta O'Neal, Antonio Gates. Uh, I'm definitely doing a gameplay over on Xerxes 2 later today with... I'm going to try to pick up Tom Brady and also Trevon Diggs, of course. I got to get my boy. Also, real quick, because I, I did get a couple of comments about it. People ask me where I get the Trevon Diggs jersey because you can't actually get one in the NFL shop. If you go to NFL shop, you just go to Cowboys, go to like Diggs, whatever. It does make a custom jersey. I think... Because he changed numbers this year, they don't have any actual Diggs jerseys in stock. So, yeah, it's a custom Diggs one, but it'll, like, auto-make it for you. I had some Cowboys fans asking me about that, so that's how you get a Diggs jersey if you guys want one. But we have Trevon Diggs. Very excited for this card. As I said, gameplay over on Xerxes 2. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about before we get into the packs and everything is the Tom Brady power-up. Because I did mention in my video this morning, they decided to actually take away like the training slots in between when you add in the 87 overall Tom Brady and just the LTD. Well, here is the thing. You guys can see this 88 overall Tom Brady. He does have 90 awareness. However, it needs to be 90 overall to go ahead and get a Hara Master. So the thing is, the way they set it on stream was they pretty much wanted to help people out who pulled the limited, right? And just take away the training slots so that way you could get Hara Master in here, whatever, uh, with this LTD Brady and not have to spend 6,000 training, whatever, to upgrade him, right? And instantly in my head this morning, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I didn't realize it until after I'd already made the video. By them doing this, it actually just hurt people a lot more because the thing is, you didn't even need to get the LTD Brady to actually get Howard Master. If you just have 90 awareness and he was up to a 90 overall, so if they just had the training slots in here, boom, you could go out and get an actually like pretty cheap Hot Route Master quarterback and EA didn't want that. So they took out the training slots here and you have to get the LTD to actually go out and get Howard Master. So it's a bad thing that EA did this, let's be honest here. But also I can understand why they did it because... They don't want to give us a super cheap uh, Hiram Master quarterback with them just dropping Dan Marino with the Team Diamonds and everything. They don't want people being able to get a cheap Hiram Master QB for like 200k total. They don't want that. They want you to do those sets. So do I understand why they did it? Yes, it makes sense for the economics of the game for the Team Diamond sets to still be relevant. Does it suck? Yes, absolutely it sucks. That would have been like a 200k quarterback. It gets Howard Master, and obviously Howard Master is really, really good. It gives you those additional hot routes, which is what makes this Brady card so good. So, eh, interesting. Now, also make sure you guys go ahead and play your Team of the Week solos. I've been telling you guys this every single week. Make sure you guys go ahead and play your Team of the Week solo challenges so you do not miss out on getting your free players, your free Team of the Year player, your free 87 NCA tier 88 this week now, updated overall, and also like the free player of the week, whatever. Play your Team League solos, please. They expire weekly. I know some of you guys probably have already missed out on playing some of the solos, and you may be behind. You cannot miss too many weeks, but we are going to do this early bird pack right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead. You can see Debo Samuel, Marcus Williams, uh, Siju Zama, Tyus Bowser, Tyreek Hill gets a plus two to speed in this power up. So he's actually up to 92 speed, I want to say. So one speed faster than that MCS card. Uh, and then Gibson there. We're going to go with Debo Samuel just to have him for the set for uh, digs. Want to get digs. Let's get into these packs though. We do have 10 Team of the Week packs. We have two LTDs. Two Team of the Week LTDs. Uh, as we start off here with 88 Marcus Williams. Let's go. And we get a legend, 86 Roy Williams. This is a big pack here. By the way, Dom and I will be doing Mutt Bingo tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. We will be doing Mutt Bingo tomorrow. Of course, two more limiteds in packs. I want to hit you guys another special edition uh, of Mutt Bingo. But if I can pull my first Team of the Week limited today, I would be very excited. Uh, it's a great, great, great Team of the Week week, of course, as you get an overall Tyree kill right there. Anytime you get a Cowboy, 
it's a great week. It's a great week. Also, we do have veterans tomorrow. We already know of Cordero Patterson. I did show you guys his stats this morning. Uh, depending on the other veterans tonight, I may make a video going over the veterans tonight. Otherwise, I'll just catch you guys up in the morning with those. As even overall Gibson right there. Okay, so, uh, I mean, first team of the week pack, it was good. It was a, a really good pack. Since then, not so much. We get a power up Derwin right there. And our team of the week card, 85 Uzama. All right, I'll take him. I will definitely take him. But we've got six packs remaining. I might end up doing all six. I honestly might end up doing all six packs here. And just seeing if we can get lucky and pull one of these LTD cards as we get a Matt Stafford. It's a little bonus elite there. And 81 overall Tyree Hill again. All right. It, well, with the 81 overalls and everything, you're still going to be able to sell them for, you know, 8k 9k whatever so if you get like a double lead that helps a lot as you can even overall gibson right there can we get a double team of the week please no some golds okay so really like worst case scenario with these packs you're making back like 12k so you're losing like 30k a pack at the worst so that's that's pretty bad that's that's definitely pretty bad right there we get a yannick and gakwe and the final card 85 overall okay 85 right there we only have three packs remaining three final packs can we get lucky and pull tom brady please who's this tyreek okay i feel like brady if i had to kind of guess on his price obviously right now the sets and everything like the packs also just came out right so he's gonna be pretty expensive when i go and look on the auction block right now but i think because dan marino is like a million coins i feel like brady should probably settle around like seven to eight hundred k i feel like that's probably what he'll settle at obviously it depends on his price or his pull rate but uh we will see exactly what he does end up settling at as final team of the week pack here we get a gibson so unfortunately no team of the week ltd for me uh and i believe that is all that's new let's check out the auction house here take a look at these team of the week cards and we will see exactly how much am i gonna have to spend on dicks I'm curious to see. I also want to see, like, his block shed, his hit power, his tackling. I don't think it's going to be that good. Uh, he's 400K. All right. Get a little bit cheaper. I will gladly take that. He's got 91 speed, 92 excel, 6 foot 1, as I told you guys, 92 man, 86 zone, 88 press, 86 play rec. Uh, his catching, 80, of course, 93 jumping, 88 change of direction. His block shed's actually decent. 65 block shed, 74 tackling, and 67 hit power. So you know he's coming to my team. Of course, he's going to come to my team. Uh, we do have the LTD Cameron Hayward right here already up. 71 speed, 84 excel, 94 strength, 93 block shed, 93 power move. Not really sure why we got another right end LTD, but all right, is what it is. Uh, it looks like Brady's already up for 1.3 million coins. I think he'll be a lot cheaper, but he's got 55 speed, 91 throw power, 93 short, 93 medium, and 90 deep with 88 throw under pressure. Uh, so obviously he's got some crazy, crazy, crazy wheels on him, of course. Uh, so he did get that LTD for breaking the record for the all-time passing yards. And I don't see... The other two limiteds are the other two heroes up here is one delta o'neill uh he's got 91 speed 92 excel he's 5 foot 11 so 5 11 6 1 you have digs and delta 89 man though 92 zone can't press as well as digs 81 press given press doesn't really uh work all that well this year anyways he has 87 jumping so in terms of height and jumping yeah digs definitely beats him by a lot there then if we take a look at the block oh 37 block shed my god he's gonna get pancaked like if he if this, this guy if he goes again, what's his weight? He weighs 194 pounds. Delta O'Neal is literally going to get pancake blocked nonstop. 57 hit power and 73 tackling. That's that's bad. And the final card of the week, of course, is Antonio Gates. He's got 87 speed, 92 excel, 90 short, 90 medium, 90 catch of traffic, and 75 run blocking. It's a pretty good card. 6'4, 93 jumping, 86 truck, uh, 87 stiff arm. A lot of good tight ends in the game now so really like for a lot of different theme teams you're getting a lot of good cards so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below you guys can see brady already going beneath a million coins currently sitting at 936k uh, and if we take a look here at dan marino i want to see what his price is looking like right now because he's probably down a little bit he's actually under 900k so yeah, Brady should definitely be beneath Dan Marino, of course, because Dan is the better card. So you would think Brady, if Dan Marino is 900K, probably like seven. So 
We'll see how the market settles. Hopefully you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.